our Sockmeister fans, something called Beatlemania, the movie. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with a few non beatles songs and some images of the 60s. Throughout this film, some headlines come across the top of the screen from time to time. They lead the stage. That's Captain Kirk. And we see them uh, behind the scenes changing clothes from one Beatles outfit to another Beatles outfit. If you've seen the Magical Mystery Tour, you'll recognize them. One of their signature songs. Sergeant Pepper outfits. Notice Paul is playing right-handed bass. That's wrong. We have the rolling of a joint. Getting a little trippy now. We even have an appearance from Captain Marvel. Captain America, I mean. And Thor. Not sure what the wrestlers are all about, but it's a little get back.
Our pretend Ringo, of course, gets in on the act, too. Beatlemania the movie. I've never actually seen this before. I heard about it. What they say in here is not the Beatles, but an incredible simulation. What this was was a musical that came out in 1977. It played in New York on Broadway, I think, um, and it ran for a thousand shows. Uh, it ran for several years uh, in various incarnations of it and such. Incantations, whatever. Anyway, um, it's basically a concert uh, featuring, uh, it's, it's basically a Beatles cover band. Uh, they're pretty good. Um, a couple of them really look like, especially Paul, the guy who plays Paul really looks like him as well. I think they are professional musicians who play music and they play Beatles songs and they just basically recreate the songs almost verbatim from the album. They make them sound exactly like, or at least as close as they can. Uh, and they're pretty good. I mean, it's, obviously it's not the Beatles, but they even say it's not the Beatles. So what can you do? Um, so somebody decided to put this uh, show on film and release it as a movie in 1981, uh, which was about six, seven months after uh, John Lennon uh, was shot and killed. Was there, um, uh, did they do that on purpose to cash in on that fame? I don't know. I don't know when this was planned or whatever, but allegedly Christina Applegate, young Christina Applegate was in the crowd uh, in one of the first few rows um, and... Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> was she there as an actress or what? I didn't see her. I didn't notice her, but apparently she was there. Um, basically, what you saw in this movie is a bunch of Beatles songs performed by this cover group, uh, Beatlemania. Um, even the Beatles drums say Beatlemania on them. Now, as this is going on, there's all kinds of images playing up on a screen, and, and those are shown on the video screen. Um, they show various events that took place in the 60s and such. They talk about... Uh, Kennedy and uh, Martin Luther King being shot and Peyton Place being on. There's like an ad that runs over the top. It's kind of strange in that regard. Uh, there's a couple of trippy scenes also when they're performing Come Together. There's some psychedelic stuff in there as well. Um, ultimately, though, the music actually is pretty good. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Beatles. I like their sound. And uh, these songs are, 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 are very good recreations of the original song. So I found myself singing along with them. And it was kind of interesting to see them perform some song, even though it's not the Beatles, obviously, but they performed some songs that they never actually performed as a group. Helter Skelter, for example, uh, was performed in this movie. So, 
Anyway, I don't know what else I can tell you about Beatlemania. It's not available on DVD. Now, apparently the Beatles or Apple Corps did actually sue uh, them and um, it went on for several years before they finally ruled in, in the Beatles' favor or Apple Corps' favor and they kind of shut this down. But apparently this has been, uh, it's come back in several revivals. And of course, now we know there's cover bands all over the place. So I don't know what the, exactly the status is, but maybe that's one of the reasons why it's not available on DVD. I don't know. Um, but um, it is available on VHS, and I do own the uh, VHS of it. It's uh, one of those uh, great big, great big boxes, uh, one of those oversized boxes. Um, I put this on a DVD R myself, and uh, got some homemade box art for it, so it looks pretty good. I've never seen it before, so it was kind of interesting to see it. So anyway, check it out. It's called Beatlemania. Um, I'll leave a link to Amazon if you want to purchase this. Uh, last time I looked, it was fairly reasonably priced. You can even find it on eBay for anywhere between ten and twenty dollars in that range or so. So I was actually surprised it was that cheap because uh, usually sometimes those uh, oversized boxes are, are, are pretty expensive, but this one's reasonably priced. So anyway, check it out. It's called Beatlemania: The Movie. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. Beatlemania, watch it. Bye.